Okay, I'm gonna show you how to put all of the parts together to make your homemade square handheld rig. In case you missed it, you can click the link to watch the prep, or you can skip ahead to see it in action. So, let's do this. Here's a quick look at all the pieces of pipe we're about to cut. All right, so step one is gonna be measuring our pipe before we cut it. Measuring out two pieces that are 11 inches long. Make some marks. That's where I'm gonna make my cuts. I need four pieces that are gonna be four and three quarters. And then it just so happens this leftover piece is a perfect size for our little um, optional handle. All right, that's it for measuring. So now I'm gonna use my sweet PVC cutters. I'm gonna just snip this thing into pieces. Got my marks. All right, step three is assembly. Now it's good to put everything together first before you glue to make sure everything fits okay. You could always make adjustments, trim stuff if you need to. So let's start by just putting it together. You're just making a square as the name implies. So taking your right angles and you're gonna just pop them on the sides. This is gonna be one of the side handles. Now if you have a rubber mallet, this is where it can come in handy. You can just push really hard, you can bang it on the ground or you could tap it in there and make sure it's nice and snug. You wanna make sure it's really lined up too because these are gonna to need to be straight after. We'll make the other side, the exact same thing using the other two elbows. See how easily PVC fits together? So these are the two sides. Now we're gonna to put together the top and the bottom using our T-joints. One, two, three, easy as that. Here we go, I'm gonna line it up and make sure it's really straight. Kinda of just press on it. Okay, looks pretty straight. Now instead of going towards the middle, like the first one was, we're gonna want this one to go out. This is where the handle is gonna be. Okay, these two. Bend the pipe a little bit, no big deal. Fit it in. All right, now my leftover piece um, that is gonna be the handle is gonna go right in there. But we're not gonna glue this one in the next step, so keep that in mind. This one's gonna be removable because we might not want it in all the time. So now that you're sure your measurements are all correct and everything's good to go, it's ready for step four, gluing, which means we're gonna tear it apart and glue it. All right, let's glue. I did put down a protective surface so I don't put glue on my table. All right, so this is your PVC glue. I use clear because I like it. Bam, put it on. There's really no special trick to this other than put the glue on, put the PVC together. I'm gonna go ahead and hammer all of these as I go. You really want to make sure that these are straight this time because once the glue sets, there's no going back. If you don't already have PVC glue, you can pick up a four ounce bottle, a little smaller than this, for like four bucks. Done. Okay, gonna have to push. There we go. So don't forget that this piece goes straight up into the square but this top one needs to shoot outward for the handle. Don't glue the handle, that's gonna be removable, but this is all you need for now. Everything is glued, and you wanna let that set for a while before you put your camera on it. Step five, time to drill. We're gonna be drilling two different spots here on this. One is gonna be where the camera is attached to the rig, and the other is to hold onto the optional handle. It'll be removable later. First step will be to um, just mark the spot. We're gonna be going straight through this because this little nub is gonna be where the camera sits. So I wanna go straight down the bottom and I make a little mark. And then with the handle in, now it's not glued, but it is in securely, I'm gonna make two marks because we're gonna drill straight down through it. And you don't want it to be too close to this edge, but you wanna make sure it still catches the pipe. So I'm gonna put it right here. And here's a quick tip. Um, instead of starting with the full size one, if you start with a smaller bit, get your hole going, and then switch to the bigger one, it'll be a lot easier to just drill the hole that way. So we wanna make sure that that fits through okay. So as long as that goes through, we're good. All right, so this is how the handle works. Um, since I decided not to glue it, so it's not permanent, we're gonna use our two inch bolt and just stick it right through there and use one of the wing nuts because they're easy to uh, twist and untwist on the fly. Don't really need any tools. Uh, there, now it's just on there, tighten it down. It doesn't have to be too, too tight. It is plastic after all. But now you've got a nice handle so you can hold the camera from the top if you want to. But if you don't want the handle, if it's gonna get in the way, you can simply take this pin out, 
and take your handle out and then you're back to just this. So there you have it. This is your homemade square handheld camera rig. That wasn't so hard, was it? So in part three, we're gonna put it to the test and show you what kind of creative shots you can get with this thing. And right now, I think I'm gonna give it a nice custom matte black paint job because that makes everything look a little sweeter.